Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part three of our mini-series for Carrie. And let us begin. Last we left off was part two after Carrie destroyed everybody in the town and basically just demolished the school. Um, and then she dies. And then as Sue's walking away, she feels blood running down her thighs and screams in anguish. Anyways, uh, the aftermath, part three, wreckage. Four months later, Chamberlain has become a virtual ghost town. By then, 440 people, including 67 of Alwyn's high seniors, are confirmed dead, with 18 more still missing. The Black Palm incident is one of the worst disasters in America history, and is considered a national tragedy worse than the assassination of John F. Kennedy. After interviewing the, si the, sizers, the survivors of the prom, the scientists began to take telekinesis seriously, and schools across the country start to crack down more on bullying. An autopsy reveals that unusual formations in the cerebellum and cere cerebellum of Carrie's brain. Mr. Jarin and Principal Henry Grail, who had managed to escape from the prom, are consumed with regret, sadness, and guilt over not reaching out to Carrie and their role in the disaster and resigning their position. Miss Jarin states she'd rather commit suicide than teach again. In 1986, Sue writes a memoir of her traumatic experience, My Name is Susan Schnell which warns the reader not to forget about the events that took place in Chamberlain, or else like it, something like, like it might happen again. The book closes with a letter written by a woman in Tennessee whose daughter is developing incredibly strong, advanced telekinetic abilities as well. However, unlike Margaret White, she expresses fascination with her daughter's natural abilities and predicts that her daughter will become a real world beater someday. This may be interpreted as Carrie having risen above her oppression and having been reincarnated into a more loving home. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, basic gist of it. Um, I was going to make this, you know, uh, five parts, but I think we can do three parts. I think we can, really. Um, I'm not being lazy here, or maybe I am being lazy. But uh, you don't really need to read the publication history. <laughs> you can just look that up uh, on the same article that I'm reading right now, which is Carrie, parentheses, novel. Um, and it'll be at the very bottom section. But uh, the next thing and final thing I want to do before we wrap up this session here uh, of our first official mini series is uh, the Carrie remake. It's the last thing I want to look into. Okay. And I'm actually uh, kind of hoping this is uh, not too big because I don't want this to end up being another eight minutes. Okay, so, uh, Carrie, 2013 film. You will know her name, Carrie. Directed by Kimberly Pierce, produced by Kevin Misher. Screenplay by Lawrence D. Cohen. Roberto Aguera Sacasa, based on Carrie by Stephen King. Um, and starring Chloe Grace Moretz, Judy Greer, uh, Portia Doubleday, Alex Russell, Gabriella Wilde. Ansel Elgort, Juliana Moore, music by Marco Beltrami, cinematography by Steve Yedlin, edited by Lee Percy, production film, Misha Films, distributed by Metro Goldwyn Mayer Screen and Screen Gems, released October 18, 2013, running time 99 minutes, country United States, language English, budget 30 million, box office take 85 uh, million, 39,284. Okay. Um, we. Uh, yeah, we have a plot here that is actually kind of short, so I will try and read it. Okay. Alone in her home, Margaret White, played by Julianne Moore, gives birth to a baby girl she at first intends to kill the infant, but changes her mind. As a teenager, her daughter Carrie is a shy, lonely girl who nears her graduation from Ewan High School in Maine. While showering after gym class at school, Carrie experiences her first menstrual period. She is naively thinks she is bleeding to death. The other girls ridicule her and school bully Chris Harginson. Actually, you know what, guys? We can save this for another article. We want to. I want to keep the book separate from the movies, and the and that's the book version. This is the movie version. But I promise I will do a separate article for this. Okay, you know I just want to keep everything organized. I want the books to be with books, and I want the movies to be with movies. But I do want to thank you guys who tuned in on this one. Uh, 
And I'm, I do apologize once more. It will be a lot more organized in the future. You know, we're just still kind of getting into the flow of this. I'm trying to get some more people on board to help me out with this stuff. Um, but uh, until next time, check out some more articles, and I'll talk to you guys later.